Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we can discuss about the features of rental module in Odoo 15. Rental module is the best management software that will meet all the requirements and it will manage different tasks and orders easily. So this will support to manage all aspects of the rental business and also it is considered as the finest tool that will bring in all the rental options to a simple platform. So let's check it out the key features of rental module in Odoo 15. In the dashboard of rental orders, we can see all the orders created and in the left side of the panel, we can see the rental status and the invoice status. So here the rental status can be viewed as quotation, confirmed, picked up and return. Likewise, we can view the invoice status according to nothing to invoice and to invoice. And here we have customizable features like filters, group by and favorite options. And here we can view the window according to campaign view, list view, calendar view, pivot view, graph view and also in the activity view. So if you want to create a new rental orders, you can click on the create icon. So before creating, you can go to the configuration settings. Here in the configuration settings, we can see the rental section and uh, here we have the default padding time. In this section, you can mention the minimum amount of time between the two rentals. So the specified time can be considered as a preparation time before the next rental. And here we have the default delay cost. Here we can specify the uh, additional cost for the late returns. Uh, and uh, this cost will be applied to new rental product. So here we can set the default extra cost per hour and per day. And also you can set the minimum uh, uh, minimum delay time before applying, uh, applying fines. And here we can finally specify the product which is used to add fines to the rental orders. So from the drop down menu we can choose the product. And here we can see the digital documents. Uh, we can enable this to set default document template for all the rentals in the current company. So using the upload template you can add the default document. So you can save the changes before leaving the page. Now let's move on to the product menu. In this window, we can, uh, we can see all the rental product. So while opening this, you can see the product name. And here in the general information tab, we can see the product type, invoicing policy, create on order, plan services. Here you can see the SLA policy details, sales price, customer taxes, cost, product category and so on. And here uh, while adding a product, you can mark the product as can be rented. And when we comes to the uh, rental tab, we can define the uh, rental price. So click on add a price option to add prices according to uh, the rent duration and you can set the unit to calculate the price and according to the unit you can set the rental pricing and here in the reservation section or uh, reservation field you can specify the amount uh, charged for extra hours and extra days and in the security time field we can mention the security time between two rentals so it is very important to keep a security time between two rentals So if you want to create new uh, product, you can click on the create icon. So we have already done a video uh, regarding how to add product in Odoo 15. So if you want to uh, know more about it, you can just click on the Cybrosis blog or uh, Cybrosis YouTube channel. Now let's move on to the orders menu. And here we can create new rental orders. For that, choose the customer. So after choosing the customer, you can see that the invoice address, delivery address, quotation template, expiration, price list and the payment terms is auto allocated. And in the order line tab, you can choose a product that can be rendered to the customer. So here we can choose the product. After choosing the product, a window will appear and here we can see the start date to the end date uh, and here we can see the duration, quantity and the unit price. So here we can add this and after adding the product you can see the uh, total amount. 
So the remaining step of creating rental orders are the same as sales order. So we can follow that step to complete the order and we can save this. Now the quotation is ready to uh, send. So we can click on the send by email option. And after getting the confirmation, you can click on the confirm button. And after confirming here, we have the option to create invoice and here we have the pickup option. When the product is ready to be delivered to the customer, you can choose the pickup option. So a window will appear, uh, you can click on the validate. So here we can see the status is changed to pickup. That means the product is delivered now. And here we have the uh, return option. When the customer return the product after the rental period, you can click on the return option. So here we can see the uh, status is changed to returned. So this is how we create and manage rental orders in the rental module. And under the orders menu, we can see the option to do today. This is used to get the list of orders to pick up and return scheduled for that particular day. So here the pick up and the return shows the orders of the product to be picked up and uh, picked up and returned on that day respectively. Now let's move on to the schedule menu. Here this menu gives the complete information about the scheduled orders created in rental module. So from this uh, platform, we can view the rental orders created on the daily, weekly, monthly and yearly basis. So when placing the cursor, uh, you can view the details about it. And to create a or to add a new scheduled uh, rentals, you can click on the add icon. Now let's move on to the rep, uh, reporting section of rental module. And the reporting can be done using this window. It helps to generate reports about the rental orders created. And here we can choose various measures like daily amount, daily audit quantity, daily picked up quantity and daily return quantity. And can view according to bar chart, line chart, pie chart. And also you can sort it according to the descending and ascending way. And here we can choose various filters, group by and comparison option. So the comparison can be done according to the previous period and previous year. Apart from the graph view, we have the pivot view. And in this pivot view, we can get the details like daily audit quantity, daily picked up quantity and the daily amount. Here also we can choose the measures, filters and group by option and it is also possible to insert the details in the spreadsheet. So we have been discussing about the features of rental module in Odo 15 and if you want to know more about Odo implementation and customization uh, in your business, you can drop your request to odo at cyprocess.com.